Welcome to the podcast for the sisters and bros. It will make you laugh from your head to your toes. Talking about their lives, from the highs to the lows. And the name of the title goes... The Sloppy Joes. Welcome everyone to the Sloppy Joes podcast. We are here for another incredible episode. Listen, this one lands on the 28th of February. We're recording it on the 27th because these two lovely people have a story to tell. But, uh, well, just, how are you? I'm good, I feel terrible. You know you sound awful. I feel terrible. My voice is going, I've still got the same top, t-shirt, pants, trousers, socks, and teeth uh, from 7am What do you mean teeth? I brushed my teeth at 7am yesterday. It's currently 5.33pm. Why? And I, because I stayed at my mum and dad's house and I ain't got a toothbrush there. Did you use theirs? Uh, what? Was she my not? my mum's toothbrush. You'd use your mum's toothbrush if it came to it. Would you use your mum's toothbrush? If I was going to work, yeah, uh, knowing that I'd spend a day unbrushed, yeah, yeah probably sticking but in. Considering where her mouth's been, you still would. <laughs> Even James is here, ladies and gentlemen. Do, 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 do. He's the sad Geordie in the corner with nothing to show for it. How are you doing? Um, yeah, hello, Drew. Um, I'm not too bad. But I mean, you lost the game, but at least you got to go and sit in Wembley and watch Newcastle in the flesh. Yeah, no, no, yeah, that's where you're mistaken, Drew. Um, I sadly didn't get a ticket, but I, I made my way down to London. Um, oh, this is that cost you? Uh, uh, it was a 60, 60 quid train. I booked it. Huge After train. we won the first leg, I was like confident. Yeah, well wow. in there. Right, let's yeah. get into everyone's days, but first I just want to take this Well, how off. are you? I'm good, but Why as you can see... Why do you look see, like the kid at school that you're not allowed to sort of mess with because he's... I'm hard. No. Erect! No. Not that he's hard or that he's erect, but because if he gets this, uh, a bang on the head, he might have a fit. We, yeah, I... You had your head <laughs> I was just thinking about that. Okay, so here's you what... Here's why, for the audio it. listeners, I've got my player. coat on, like a cagoule thing on. And it's because I... Well, I've sort of been pushed by this podcast to choose different colours to wear in life. Right. You know, apart from navy or, or mustard. mustard. I've been pushed in a direction I didn't know I wanted to go and don't know if it is the right direction. Right, I'm going to close my eyes and you're going to reveal that top and then, or whatever it is. And, then I'm and can I just it. say as well, I, I bought the wrong thing. Essentially, <laughs> I, I was rushing before filming the uh, Carabao Cup final on, on the paddock. I had, a, I had about 10 minutes to switch an old top with a new one. Joe Smith, reveal yourself. It's a nice pink, isn't it? That is, couldn't be less pink if it tried. Is That's it not? Is it, what is it? Purple? purple. La- lilac. It's a nice purple. I'm like Barney. You are a bit. Apart from the accusations. Of, what accusations? Barney Wait, actually, is a pe- Barney's never been accused of anything, so that must mean that you've had accusations. No, no, Barney was accused of it big time. Was he accused That's of? why he went away for so long. Do you remember the song? Oh, dude, that's why he went away for so long. Barney like he was just waiting for the allegations to die down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like when... Do you remember the song? Sing me the song. Barney is a pedophile and likes to touch kids. He touches little children. <laughs> <laughs> little did you know we're bringing out an album in December of all of our hits, me and Ethan. So you're, you're Barney the Dinosaur Oh, I'm now. not Barney the Dinosaur. I'm John McGrath. Can I say? The rhinoceros. Can I just say, you look great. Thank you. It looks really, really good at <laughs> you. <laughs> You're you taking like the bit. I love it. Your hair's I'm getting stick. long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The beard's I'm getting a beard out. trim though soon, so I'm looking different. Yeah, we'll get a haircut. Yeah, we'll Are get a haircut. Are you pretending that your hair's growing back by just never growing it? Yeah, of course I am. <laughs> what do you think of his new top? Oh, here we go. He's branching out. He's gone lilac. Oh, it's, uh, I think with your, like, uh, Bill Drew, and your looks, it's... I hope you don't mind me saying, I think it's quite camp. What about his build is, is camp, would you say? Uh, I, I, I don't know. Um, I've got a camp build. Yeah. I'd say... Is I think I is would it? say... Sorry, what I would say was, like, um, you'd be you'd be put in that, like, uh, category. Do you know in... In, in, um, in that... Not community. Because doesn't know where he's going here. 
Yeah. Or he's going to say something really extremely offensive. Extremely offensive. Go on. Let's find out. Um, I believe you could be categorised as. Could you move over to your right slightly? And what would the category be? The category would be low achieving male. Should well, we? oh, sorry. What do you mean? So, sorry. Uh, of course, uh, that could be one. But I was going more down the, the route of uh, like a uh, a cuddly camp man. Do you know what I mean by that? Does that give you any clarification? Sorry. I, it kind of does. Yeah. And I'll take it. I'm a cuddly man. I give yeah. good hugs. Yeah. I really, you know. You gave oh. me a hug before. And I'm... <coughs> oh, sorry, Joe. And I'm struggling. So you're you're, you're struggling. You've never seen me like this. Let's get into why you're struggling. Yeah. It's Sunday morning. You wake up. Yeah. You're aroused. No, I'm not aroused. You must be. I would be. Why would I? League Cup final. Oh, yeah, I suppose I was slightly aroused. And then? Talk me through your day. of silverware. That nicely buffed. <laughs> Jug. If you had the opportunity to keep the Carabao Cup at your house, yeah, would you wank in it? Uh, oh. um. No, I'd be more like to have a big mug of tea out of it. Though. Nice. It's got three handles, hasn't it? So yeah. You and two of your mates could do it at the same time. Yeah. A cup of tea. That is <laughs> not the not the other thing. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'd love to keep the Carabao Cup. Out. So I wake up Sunday morning. The world is my oyster. Anything could happen. I get a train over to Sheffield, meet my dad in Sheffield. I get, actually, I got the train there and I got to Sheffield train station an hour and 50 minutes before my train was meant to sell. Wow, so what did you do? Uh, so I went for a coffee, then I went for a bacon sandwich and another coffee. Yeah. Um, and then I just waited for my dad. Then I went into a Sainsbury's and I said, let's buy some newspapers to take down to London with us. Newspapers? Yeah, to like sort of read. Uh, what are you up. talking what? about? Let's buy some newspapers for the what? train. That's... What about beers? Yeah, we've got beers already. Okay, yeah, yeah, We've yeah, got yeah, beers yeah, and crisps. Yeah, yeah. That's locked in. <laughs> you bought newspapers? Yeah. Like we what? Which one? The Independent? No, we bought, yeah, we, no, we bought the uh, the Observer, yeah. which is the Guardian on Sunday, and we bought the Times. Nice. So sort of Mix each, it up a each bit. end of the spectrum, <laughs> do you know what I mean? A bit of right wing, a bit of left wing. One for but even, in this one sport, for it's not right wing or left wing, it's just journalists. Um, anyway, so I go into Sainsbury's and say, oh, where's your newspapers? Because I looked and there's a couple of it and someone's nicked them all. I was like, no. What do you mean someone's nicked them all? He went, yeah, if someone just came in and took all the newspapers. What, are they selling them on, like, that's what, what the hell? They you can't them. be selling a newspaper on this, for profit. What? That's crazy. So if you see, like, if anyone sees some dodgy bloke yeah. selling <gasps> the Times for four pound a go. I know. What? The local chippy. Oh. <gasps> For the fish and chips. Did he reek of haddock, the man? <laughs> did the man smell like curry sauce? If he did, I think I might know why. If you get your chippy in Sheffield and it's really relevant news, yeah. Jin, you know what you, you stole today. It. If you stole it today, yeah. If it's an FA Cup preview, uh, a League Cup preview. Anyway. So then I then we're on the way down to to, to London now. Yeah. Ethan, fill me up to uh, up to the point where you're on the way down to London. What does your morning consist of? Uh, my morning consisted of, of getting up quite early, around aroused? 10 to 8. Yeah, were you aroused? Oh, no, not aroused. I was quite tired. I struggled getting up at 10 to 8, even though for most people that's not that early. You struggle getting me. up as well, don't you? Never Jeez. at 10 to 8. Like a rock. 10 to 2. There used to be a... T oh, no. Go on. There used to be a weird time when I started, like, making teas and brews in, in the radio business that... For some reason, you'd get an accidental, like, uh, you'd be aroused by, like, qu quarter past ten every day. What do you mean you, when you started making teas? Like, when I was, like, a tea boy, a brew boy. I worked my way up. Yeah, but why? Making brews, like, when I, was, when I was 18, you know, I was the best brew maker in the land. I Magic fingers McGrath. It we wasn't could, a finger, was it? Could, could, could carry three on one hand, six mugs, yes, please. That's the whole team, plus the receptionist. What do you mean? What do, when you go... <laughs> when you go, plus the receptionist, what does that mean? Well, I used to make her one as well. well you need seven. Hayley. Then. What? Do you need seven? No, no, five in the team. <laughs> so and then a quarter that, past ten every so, day okay. for some reason. So you get one of those like, like I remember you used to get in history as well. Just like you don't want it, but it just sort of like says so, a, wait, peaks so up, so says a lot. You're making bulk tea, and when you're some, learning about some, some the coffee. Vikings, you're we never did Vikings on the radio. Oh history. oh, history, sorry, yeah, yeah, sorry. So how, so you were so proud of yourself for being able to carry six mugs, you would regularly walk back into the office, tea's ready, six mugs, and a startling event. Do you know what it was? It was normally when we were talking about the next day's show, so normally a show finishes at 10, and we'd be sat there and we'd all be having a debrief, and I just... Is it the word debrief that gets you Oof, yeah, maybe. And oh. was it the Battle of the Bulge? <laughs> 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 
<laughs> you're having your own, weren't you? <laughs> You've... The battle of the <laughs> Hey, he's hung over, but he's not fucking off me today. Ethan, uh, mm. Newcastle morning, what happened? Um, well, I got up nice and early. My housemate, Aaron Patterson, a Manchester United fan, got up mm. even earlier than me. He was rummaging around at 7am, making a full English. Wow. Nah, he knows, he loves it, doesn't he, Patterson? Adam Patterson loves so it. Patterson, it should be more of a character on the show because he's... First of all, mental. Yeah, and second he, of all, lives with Ethan. Didn't you say that he sort of likes to proclaim that he no longer eats unhealthy foods and uh, that he's sort of this temple of health? He's, he's a temple of health now, Adam. He, uh, he, 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 he sometimes even, uh, I think, on, on the slight, makes little knocks at me for living my lifestyle, of which I'll have a few takeaways <laughs> a week. A few, a few takeaways a week have you now, Ethan? Wow. Oh, uh, well, I mean, like, probably always, like, at least... Two. So oh, wasn't he having a dig at you before though for eating unhealthily and then what happened after that? Ah, well, is this... Well, I hope Adam doesn't mind me saying he so. Won't. But um, he, he went to Germany, to Munich um, for a few days and uh, this is in the peak of his, his, his new health regime, you and see. He, what, what was he saying to you about his health, about your eating habits and his? Oh, uh, is this when I was having a wing stop, Drew, and he was having a little bit of a dig of me for having takeaway and that. So he's 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 in better shape than me. Anyway, when he went to Munich, he came he he came back and obviously he's 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 not touching chocolate. He tells you he's got no cravings anymore. He doesn't even want things. it anymore. That's the thing with him. Yeah, he's it. done. He's done. His whole yeah, mindset has changed. Wow. He doesn't want it at all. And um, I, I come into the kitchen when I when I when I come back, and. Uh, What's that? Early in the morning, a box of twelve Jaffa cakes, and hang on, there's none in there, <laughs> right? <laughs> Apart from a half-eaten one that's left on the side. I love that. He's like he just went, I can't, I can't, I can't do it. I he can't, can't do it anymore. <laughs> Eleven and a half is it? <laughs> I just threw it down and died <laughs> in his chair. Don't worry, Joe. Don't worry, Joe. He did manage to fin finish the Kit Kat chunky as well. Oh. Oh, the filthy bastard. <laughs> you called him out on that. So um, he's coming over to you going, I can't believe you're that muck. Yeah. What you put through your body, it's disgusting. I don't love it. I don't fucking even think about chocolate with me. And then you find out he's secretly scoffing cakes well, on the side. I asked him about this and he said, well, you know, Germany holiday, few days off from the old routine kind of thing. Well, I, I have a little, little dig back at him. Um, mm. But so any, he was up making a full English. Keep was there any point regime. in that morning where you thought I could probably fight him now? You know, get yourself up for the game. I could probably fight Adam. Yeah, like you know, like oh, what? Like just start United. by knocking out United. 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 Let's go. Just walk into the kitchen whilst he's making his food and just beat the shit out of him. Is that what you're suggesting? Yeah, get yeah. that you hot, have that hot frying oil and just pour it down his fucking belly and that. Oh, that would. <laughs> Have I gone? I just thought we were having like a bit of ban like that was that was that was a bit too bad that man. <laughs> I thought we were just having like a Hot little oil in the bell and I just thought just glamp him. Yeah. Or um, that. No, but yeah. I just thought we were just having a little mess around play around. <sighs> God, hot oil in the bell and made me feel weird. So you didn't do that, did you, Ethan? Uh, no, I hope um, Dean Adams' dad, who loves watching the podcast, has enjoyed this segment of talking about pouring hot oil down his son's penis. Um I hope he's Oh, I do. Love Dean. Love Dean. A couple of times. Have you? I've met him as well as a lovely guy. Lovely guy. Yeah. We wouldn't touch your son's bell end. Yeah. Unless he wanted us to. Of course. Anyway, Drew. <laughs> no, not of course. Sorry. <laughs> oh, I just. <laughs> sorry, I was just trying to transition there because we were getting towards a bit of a rut. Getting thought, in the so weeds a little bit. Getting yeah. in the weeds. So I thought, let's get out the weeds. And. Uh, I don't really have a transition there anyway. Good stuff. Good stuff. So anyway, yeah, he, he has his scan. I don't get to see him. I get, I get up and off I go to Wembley. Newcastle shirt that Manisha bought me specially for the day is, uh, is, Lovely. is, is, is on my chest and the rest of my, my, my back as well and my shoulders. It's a shirt. Um, and then... Uh, Adam Johnson on the back. No, uh, it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's James right. on the back she got for us, which is lovely. She's got your name on the back. Got my name on the back. Yes, oh, right. yeah, yeah. Yeah. Look at this. Look at this sexy man. This, this, that's proper key stage one, that, isn't it? <laughs> James, <laughs> you know what's bad? What number are you? 
Number 12. Uh, by any number chance? 12, why? Uh, we, we met on the uh, 12th oh, of February. Oh, for fuck's sake, the 12th. <laughs> How much is my first shirt when I didn't really know what you got on the back? I got my name, but my first name, Joseph. <laughs> So not even like McGrath got Joseph. What a fucking joke I was. Uh, right, if you, <laughs> do you get on the same? No, First you don't get on name. the same train, do you? No, I got the train from Sheffield. I got that East Midlands Main Line. You know what I mean? Did you worry if you'd know loads of United fans on there? Oh well, you see, you see, um, I hopped onto the train twenty past nine. I had a message from Baggers before he was getting on the... T Sorry, uh, Baggers also works at Stratford Paddock at 20 past eight. Um, he was getting the early one, checking that I'm doing all right and that I'm going to make it. Um, and I was doing fine, I let him know. So I, I, I got on I got on the train surrounded by United fans. Rowdy, yeah? They Who's were that? Sing, singing away, already on the booze. And I sat next to um, a, a, a lad who was 16, a United fan. Did you ID him? Oh, I did, um, excuse me, sir. If you're going to be having that red ball, I'm going to have to challenge 25. This is a citizen's arrest. How many paracetamol? I'll also have to challenge 25 on that Scratch as well, card. please. ID, please. Thank you. He was actually on the on the beers, uh, oh. but we'll not disclose who he, who he is because wow. I don't even know his name. Anyway, uh, well, well, he was sat there, and do you know what I did halfway down? I was getting a bit bored. Halfway down is what? No. Pardon? What were you no, halfway no, no, down? No, sorry? No, oh, no, 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 no. Halfway no. in the journey. Um, I'll also, I'll also, if you don't mind, insert the video. Oh, yeah, there's a move. Yeah. Yeah. What, what, across the road? Yeah, yeah. 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 to Aldi, that He yeah. said, where does Harry live? And I went, there, and then... And in this video, I'm making fun of Jay because he went to Barcelona. You see, in the Barcelona end, uh, and he has um, his Marcus Rashford shirt uh, underneath his jumper, right? And he took it down when he yeah. scored, and he went like this. <laughs> So did you do that when Newcastle scored? Oh no, uh, we didn't we score, Drew. And this is uh, prior. This is prior to the game. Um, prior to the game. Prior to the game. So I don't know. Boss, well, Ronaldo to United fans Ooh, on the nice. train. Bit of a bit of a joke there. Um, and then I was talking to the sixteen-year-old about um, about halfway through. <laughs> Stop calling him the sixteen-year-old. Uh, okay, I was I was talking to the the, the boy sat next to us. The boy is weirder. Worse. I was talking Got to the, the, the lad. The lad. The lad next to us. Call him Gaffer. Uh, Gaffer. <laughs> um, I was talking to the gaffer next to us, and he said uh, he wasn't saying anything. Sorry, so I got him. Um, <laughs> <laughs> this is this is this is, this is, is a mad. So, it's supposed to be the league cool what special. The fuck is that? So far, you told us that this is so sixteen-year-old boy who you may or may not speak to for so this train journey. About two minutes to go. I was talking to the boy. I mean, not the boy. I was talking to the sixteen. I mean, not the sixteen. I was talking to the, and he didn't say anything. All of that led to him not even saying anything. Oh, so how do you? Why would you 16? start that story? Well, well, I was, I was. So what I was trying to say is that there was not com any conversation going on, and I wanted to talk because I was like a couple of hours and wasn't saying You're anything. Pr so he's one of those people. So odd. Probably sorry, my voice is going. He's one of those people that if you sit next to him on like a plane journey and he's yeah, by himself yeah. like Richie yeah. Rich, yeah, yeah. he will talk your ear off for ten hours all the way yeah, to Bermuda. Yeah, 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 You're a proper yeah. chatter on transport, aren't you? Well, what I did through was. Um, I got so on the the Stratford Paddock uh, Instagram account. Um, we we have, we have interact with some uh, famous faces on there, and in our inbox that uh, we just I just got a notification on my phone on some Diego Delo, who uh, one of us has wished him good luck, and uh, so I had a little look, and I thought I'd just say to the kid next to him, I went, Diego Delo just inboxed us, and he was like, what? I got him all excited. You see, I said. Delo, Delo. Do you just find great joy in exciting sixteen-year-old boys, Ethan? Uh, no, it, it was Would just. Would you say um, that's a pastime of yours? No, uh, no, it, it was. Did you not listen to your voice? You even think, am I sat next to a Geordie? Um, well, I I wasn't saying anything up until that point. Wait, hold on. So hold on, you hold on. are silent. Have you had a beer yet? Have you had a beer now? Um, so I, you were silent, sat next to a child, no, and then you just went, and then you just went like, child. Is a child is sixteen, and you just went, look at this. No, that's hard. That like you've been me. quiet all journey. Yeah, you get past Milton Keynes, you turn your phone. Look at this. I wonder well, who might inbox me next. No, that, that, I don't. I don't know. He was sixteen at this point because um, he, this was before he talked. 
Um, so he, he, had, he, he, he was a man having beer to me. So at that you point. hadn't even spoken to me. You just showed him the, the, that first was of all, the, that our was works ice. inbox, not yeah. even your own. Yep, yeah, that was the icebreaker. You can't be sober at this point, can you? I haven't had a beer. I've had a smart, smart water, a chicken. Fucking hell! Imagine if it had a thick water. <laughs> Jesus, he thought that was a good idea after he'd had a smart water. I, I, I can't comprehend the idea of turning to someone a stranger with sober and just showing them your inbox. So, What's that? going on, Ethan? Well, I, I just thought it was it was cup day. It was like, oh, we wish to you a good hello, good luck. I just thought it'd be quite a nice little thing for him to go. Oh, did he love it? He he he, he got quite interested by it. He knew who full time devils were. And he was like, wow, that's really cool. I was like, yeah. So um, that was good fun and that. So after you finished sort of grooming the sixteen year old, what did you do after that? Ah, so um. Not grooming at any point, just oh, to clarify no, that. Yeah, just had to... Get into some nitty, like, the really good bits here, Ethan. The highlights. Oh, well, um... Got off the train, and, um... Which was class. Yeah. And, and I went to... I was by myself for a couple of hours, so I went for lunch with Sam. My old Hold house, on, mate. you can't be by yourself for a couple of hours, but go to lunch with someone. Sam is his, uh, oh. luxury friend. Oh, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> I went for a lunch with Sam. <laughs> we all are very hungry again, Sam. <laughs> I'll eat your Jackie Potato <laughs> tuna beans. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Come on, Sam. Oh, another Sam bite. I was just being slagged off there, essentially. You went to lunch with... Uh, I was by myself all day, so that means Sam went to lunch together. Who's Sam? Uh, Sam is my old housemate who's now living in London writing for the Race and Post. And he is a Celtic fan, so the he was getting in the... Post. Mo- uh, the Race and Post is a, uh, a newspaper that writes about horse racing, Joe. Um, so he, he was doing, uh, he was getting ready for the Celtic game, so I said I'll go see him afterwards. Anyway, off I go to Wembley. I'm going to go meet my mate Nick there at a pub nearby, and we're going to embrace the atmosphere, have a good time, have a few drinks. So off I went on that part of my adventure. And then I get there into Wembley Park. Wow, look at it. A sea of Newcastle fans, not a Man United fan in sight. Not true. It was glorious. Couldn't see any any red at all. It was all black and white. Uh, so walking down there, like I then a, got like me fifties movie. Yeah, broke. like a humbug. No, uh, uh, no, sorry, I, I could see. It's just Newcastle. All right. Oh, right. Just, have you banged your head on the train? <laughs> <laughs> I went down to Wembley and everything was in black and white, and it has been ever since. Charlie Chaplin kicking I can't see nothing. And it's just uh, sort of grayscale and one eye is flickering like fuck. And <laughs> my left side doesn't really work, like, but no problem. I, if, if we we won, but no problem because Newcastle have won the cup. <laughs> Ethan, we haven't, and you've had a stroke. Uh, we don't let Ethan tell a story, do we? No, it's him, oh, it's so on. horrible. Sorry, Ethan. And it's, it's all right. Well, anyway, um, I buy my match programme. I walk past the box park, and guess who's on stage at the box park for Newcastle? Well, that's right. It's, of course, Newcastle United fan Jeremy Kyle next to Shola Ramiobi, John Carver and Matt Ryan. What are they doing? Seeing if it's their kids or not? Fucking hell, yeah. So they, they, Jeremy the Kyle? Uh, Jeremy Kyle was on, but obviously I didn't have tickets, so I couldn't go in. Um, so I, I, I woke up and... Uh, I you sorry, you woke, woke up? up? Where were you? <laughs> <laughs> you were asleep. <laughs> oh, you went, you <laughs> went. I had a little nap on the park bench. Fucking hell, you what a boring fucking Kyle. day this is. So you got to Wembley, your <laughs> vision went completely black and white, you you had a mirage that Jeremy Kyle and Shilda Amiobi were testing to see who the dad was, and then you had a nap no. on the street on Wembley Way. Hmm. I, 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 I walked up. I walked. Oh. Okay. And uh, when I walked up, bought me match programme, £10 expensive, but I thought... How much? £10? Fucking hell. Yeah, but you got, but you got yours for free. We'll talk about that in a minute. <laughs> and uh, 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 bought it because I thought if I win the cup, I want to remember this with this programme. It'll be worth millions in the future. And then uh, a line of stewards, a line of stewards not letting you go up to Wembley unless you've got a match ticket. So I picked the dozy looking steward, walked past him, and up I went. And then I had a little look around and I saw. Just why? Just. Just snuck past him, just ran past him. There was about four people walking through at that point. It's about twelve stewards there, so I just got in between them four and walk, walked up. Um, and then smart. there I was. Th- I was there, Wembley. I couldn't be closer, apart from being inside the ground. So I was having to think to myself. I done a bit of reading on the train from talk uh, a talk sport article. 
about an England fan who had who had uh, got into the ground uh, by jibbing in. Jibbing in oh. means just getting in legally, okay? Yeah. And uh, I, I thought, I thought, oh, I, I wonder like how he did it. So I had a read. He said access K was where. What's where, that mean? What's that? Uh, I, oh, K K is 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 the the turnstile. How is that different to other turnstiles? Though? Why would that one be special? Well, he said that basically the the disability entrance there, whatever, was very accessible, and you can just go yep. through that. Here we go. Knew it was um, going this way. I knew it. I knew it was going this way. Here we go. Strap yourself in. Did you? I don't know what part of this story is going to be left in the pod, but yeah. Good luck, everyone. We'll, we'll just clip all of this out. No, no, no. Ask you one question. Did you do an impersonation of any oh, sort? Oh no. no, no, no. That is that is not what happened, and I can't believe you. You would believe my character you would be to, to do that. <laughs> and I, I must say, I must say, I wasn't planning on tripping in, but I just thought, like, I couldn't be closer. How possible really was it? It was more like investigative journalism, I would describe it as. Right. Um, so there I was, outside K, had a little look, and uh, what they've done is they've, they've, they've doubled the, the barriers to getting in from that day in the Euros that that man was talking about. Now, that when the door opens, when a wheelchair user went in, there was they locked the door, and then there was another turnstile. Incinerator, on. <laughs> Everyone who tries to get in this entrance, you're gone. One door closes out and they just. <laughs> do they? This is a mad pod, dude. Go on, eat me, fucking. He's just in the right or wrong. <laughs> there was. The, I must admit, I don't think there was an insinuator. Insinuator. Can we get to it? Did you get in or not? And I thought. I can't go through here. So I got in the queue for the turnstiles. And I just thought. I'm just teasing myself here. I know I'm not really going to do anything, but let me just see how close I really can get to being inside Wembley Stadium. And there was a man in front of us, and I said, I'm just having to think, how easy do you think it would be to jib in? And he went, jib in? And I went, oh, jibbing in is when you oh, try and sneak into this kid. Ethan, this I'm so cutting all of this out if you don't hurry up. And then, and then I explained that to him, and he understood. And then... <laughs> This is, yeah. a, this is a crazy story. I don't need to know that this man I understood what that jibbing to him in and he means. Understood. You just could have missed that bit out completely, Ethan. Did I you get in? What jibbing Simple in? Simple question. Is. Look at him. He's making himself laugh. Simple <laughs> question, Ethan. Did you get in to watch the? No, I want to know more about this man. Well, what I said to him, Drew. What he said to me. <laughs> <laughs> he, said, he said, he said, uh, what you need is someone to pass back the ticket. We need to get very close to someone. And then I think it's possible. And I went, oh, really? I went, and if this situation were to occur, could you be that man to give me your ticket? And you went, no. Oh. He said, I can't risk it, I'm afraid, for you. And I went, I understand. And then off I went, I went, I was never going to do it. I just wanted to see... So you didn't even try? No, I just wanted to get as close as I could to Wembley and see if this kind of thing was possible. And it's not worth it, is it? I could never trespass. Imagine you had a criminal record at the end of this. It'd have made a better uh, story. Oh, so where did you watch it in the end? Wow. Fucking okay. hell. Hey, that, this, can't be the, this can't be the start of another Shut story. Get to the fucking end already. So quickly, I rang the corner house pub on Wembley, near Wembley, right before I went rang there. Him. Who rings a pub? I bet they didn't even know they had a fucking phone. You got a beer in? What's that fucking noise now? Is that someone's alarm? It's our phone. It's something else. plugged into the wall. <laughs> Answer that. So and it's Ethan at the other end. I give him a ring Ooh, and I went... What did you say? You be you and I'll be them. What? Um, hello? I said, I said, hello there. Um, what? It's oh, I said, sorry. No, sorry. Uh, I said, hello there. Yeah. Um, sorry, we're really fucking busy. It's a match day. Can you get to it, please? Uh, 8,000 fucking There's 8,000 people in here, mate. Uh, hello, Ethan here. Don't I'm, care who it is. Get to it, mate. I'm just ringing because I'd quite like to come down and watch the Carabao Cup final at your pub. Do you let Newcastle fans in? We don't normally, but we have to today legally. So, yeah, come down. Um, and along the, them lines, I said that. And I went, brilliant. I'll be down for around three o'clock before it gets busy. And then, and then I get there for ten past three. The doorman, nope, you're not getting in. Why, I said. The last on the phone said it's fine. He went, we're not, we're not legally allowed to show the game. I went, why? Because it's on Wembley and the police don't let us. It's too much bother. It was a lie. 
So I went oh. all that way to Wembley, and that clock is ticking an hour before kickoff, and nowhere in Wembley is showing the game. So I tell Nick, this, my friend, this is getting this so caught up in the edit. No, I'm giving it all in. And off I rush, it. off I rush to I'm the train. Audio listening in for a treat. I get on the train and get out there, all the way to Euston. And we're panicking, where do we go? The Northumberland Arms, some people are touting around. This has got full full of Newcastle fans. And then anyway, we'll jump off at Euston. And lo and behold, the Royal George is packed with Newcastle fans. There's no time to lose. Off we get in. And finally, I have my second pint of the day. And did they win? Uh, uh, full time the score finished uh, 2-0 to Manchester no, United and uh, what about you Joe how was your day yeah great day, day. No, go on tell us a bit about um, it I think I've I think I've broken my whole knee why Adam, jumped, Adam McCullough jumped on me when we scored the first goal and I fell completely backwards onto my onto my back on the floor God. onto the chairs and I think trying to hold his weight up and mine um, has buckled my knee every time I've taken a step since it clicks I'm still hung over I feel ill my nose is blocked I feel like I'm having an allergic reaction but also sort of I've got like a mental high all at once. I feel terrible and amazing. But I you wish you lost? No, I want a cottage pie and I just want to go to sleep. Right, but you had a good day, did you? Oh, the best day of my life. Did you have a load of beers? A load of beers. Started at half 10, 11 a.m. Next thing you know, having a, a miniature bottle of wine on the way back. Nice. There was a bloke on the train on the way back that was had done so much of everything you can imagine. Yeah, if yeah, it came, yeah. There was a full bag of cocaine on the floor. Just left it. Pointed it you to us. What was I going to do? Pick it up and sell it. But there was a lot of that knocking about. Um, and this bloke was so gone on the train that he kept, he was in the toilets of the train having a shit, opening and closing the door, going, Wee! <laughs> and then closing again. Oh. Yeah. Like, then he Proud came so. out of the toilet, just sat on the luggage rack, not on the chair, because yeah. he didn't realise what was the difference. And then he was asleep, and then all of a sudden we just went, "What city is this?" <laughs> <laughs> and he went, Chesterfield, mate. And he went, and he went, "Are you getting off here?" And he went, "That'll do." And then didn't get off. We just stayed on and came all the way to Sheffield. Oh, well, that's nice. Isn't so, it? Yeah, did you not look after him? Not really, because he's had loads of mates. Where does that him. train go from Sheffield to London? All the way up? No, just stops at Sheffield. Was it? Yeah. It was the only one because the, the trains from Manchester were all booked by the time we had our tickets up. confirmed. So, well, yeah. it's a lovely day, and that, was the, that was the League Cup special. Yeah. Uh, just one thing, do you remember... Right, so you talk about p- papers then. How mad was it that page, that what, page three was, I think? Yeah. Like, I remember, obviously, it was part of our lives growing up. I might have stopped when Ethan was growing up, but there used to just be, to read a newspaper yeah. during the week, there was the news, then on page three there was just a naked lady, yeah. and then the news continued. But like... For anyone who's watching who's not from England or who isn't old enough to know, it wasn't like a bit of a suggestive pose of like no. a celebrity who's like doing like a photo shoot for like a <laughs> glamour magazine. Yeah. It was literally a woman fully tits out. Fully, do you remember it, Ethan? Like, page three. Oh no. It was, it was, cra- it was honestly, every, all, all, so all the, the, like, the, the front page would be something like terror attack in This wherever. is the thing I was going to ask. Huh? Page three. A, 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 an adult human breast and then fully and out then you have to read about it so like on big days did page three still be, like, yeah the 9-11 the day after yeah. there wasn't breasts then. so it's that it's towers knockers <laughs> towers do you know what I mean it genuinely was it crazy was, that, isn't, mad, it? isn't it? Looking back, page at the time, three was crazy. I remember when people, when they would, said they were going to get rid of it, slowly sort of phase it out. First of all, the bikini top came back on. That was the first thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then eventually, I don't think they even do it now. <coughs> but that was, I remember when they first announced they were going to get rid of it, people were like, no, oh, fuming, we need fuming. it. What else are we going to do at 8 a.m. on a fucking Tuesday? Like, just don't. We need, we love it. Yeah, but if they you, love it. If you all were. All that sexist, horrible <laughs> shit, people just shout for it. We're going to see when it stopped. If you were a. Yeah, a are, model, yeah. uh, you'd you'd be buzzing if something really dramatic happened the ne- the day yeah. we, like the day before yours were on. Yeah, I bet when Saddam Hussein was killed, you're obsessed with that timeline, aren't you? Why? What do you mean? The sort of nine eleven. No, he wasn't killed for about ten years later. Wasn't no, it? but it's, that's why I said timeline, not dead. Oh, sorry, I'm sorry. There's, there's eleven years. What 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 other story do you want me to pick then? I can't go eleven. All right then. Oh, what are you going to say? What the about, fall of about, Saddam Hussein. About, Is that going to be an excellent timeline option? 
Madeline McCann goes missing. Right, that's... The next day, you must be... <laughs> you must be... <laughs> you must be thinking, what the, the exposure? Anyway... <laughs> You must be buzzing. You must be. Um, for different reasons, of course. Uh, Ethan, uh, you went to Stockport Market. How was that? Oh, I went to Foodie Friday. Is that what you're asking about? Yeah, what have yeah, you yeah, been yeah. up to this week? Right, Forget listen. We've already had fucking two hours. Uh, uh, time. It was lovely. Yeah, thank right. you. Well, we started our PT, haven't we? How's it going? Amazing. So we started a personal trainer. We reached yeah. out to us, Ash. Uh, link in the description. Not sponsored, but we just thought he's yeah, doing yeah, a great job. Yeah. Um, we had our sort of consultation together he sort of laid out what it's going to be 12 weeks of hell pain enthusiasm i'm i'm a week behind <laughs> joe's a week behind because he refused to do you have to do a little video of just doing a few moves just to, to show you basic sort of body oh, mate, and stuff my like. video i i'm not going to show that anywhere unless i look at unless i look incredible well actually do not know if you dare so we also say like to send a, show we me also that. accidentally we had to send a few sort of before and after pics in and I was speaking to Ash the other day, who I presumably have a better relationship with than you because of your time. And I've actually got Joe McGraw. No, you've not. Before pictures. Wait, no, you've got the and video I've, on you. I've got the video and I've got the before pictures. I don't think I've sent any before photos. Well, I've got something. Go on then, let me see. I'm going to send them to Ethan now. Have you seen any... Shut up. No, you're taking the picture. I am really. He's, Ash is very professional. Very professional. I, I tell you what, I will show you my video at the end of uh, the 12 week program. Okay, and I'll show you Because he gets you to do, like shows your, uh, how you are doing press ups. Yeah. I've basically, I was bad. Well, yeah. I was bad. The dog's pissing himself. I, I do it in my spare room. The dog's looking at me like, what the fuck's he doing? I keep laughing, trumping as well. And I was like, what's going on here? This fucking madness. Did you love it? Yeah, he said, I've got So now, food. we said what? So I start today. Have you been? That's why I'm only having a Diet Coke. Have you been to the gym? No. So what do you mean you start today? I've <coughs> I'll go tomorrow. <laughs> so you're big. Right, I'll start. What are you saying? What are you saying? He no. me. He so says, oh, this is the bad. Go on. So your big start to this 12 week program, my big start was a, uh, an upper body workout and I'm on it's like 1,700 calories a day on this diet. Yeah. Right. I've had a bad weekend because of the football, but me and Ash have accounted for that. Your big start to the day was not going to the gym and just having a Diet Coke. He said to me- That's um, Donald Trump's idea of a diet. He said to me, when can you train this week? And I said, well, I can do tomorrow, Wednesday and Thursday. Tomorrow being today? No, tomorrow being tomorrow. I spoke to him today. I keep up today with him actually. And I said, but Ash, I've got a three day stag do at the end of this week. <laughs> and he fucking, he was like, this is, a, this, this, I'm his Everest, put it that way. The, he's gonna use me as a fucking, yeah. as a, you've he, never seen it. I'm like the treble for him. Yeah. Not Fergie looks at him as his toughest season. Yeah, I no one's ever achieved this before. Champion. No imagine, one has ever. Imagine, <laughs> you're his fucking, what's he called? That, that the, 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 the ski jumper guy. British guy. Eddie Izzard. No. Eddie the Eagle. <laughs> You're his Eddie Izzard. No, I'm not his Eddie Izzard. You are not doing 50 marathons in 54 days. What a guy. Um, so have you done anything yet? Because I've been, I've been logging my food. What have you been having? Can I have a look at that? Is it funny? Yeah. What's your phone? So you've got to do right. my fitness pal. It's a proper thing. It's a full like, like genuine 12 week program. He's a genuine PT. He's really oh, good. He knows what he's talking about. Oh he's given us a lot of advice. How many calories are you meant to be having a oh day? Oh, God. Pass it here. <laughs> Have you been honest on this? Well, I've not really added any... I, I need to add more stuff in. Right. So... All you've put in is a coffee. So far. I'll add more in. I'll add, I'll add more in. in so you said you've been logging your food. All you said is coffee. I remembered to put coffee in when I was like, drinking my coffee. I've had a busy day. What have you eaten today? I've had, um, do you know, if I'm gonna like this. I've had, I've had a packet. <laughs> Anything that comes in a packet is bad. Anything no, that, I'm gonna, bad. I'm gonna log no, this pass, now. Pass. What have right. you had? A packet of. Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. 
I need to just go through. So on, on uh, my fitness pal, when you go to log an item of food, it comes up with your recent food history. <laughs> go on. What do you mean recently? <laughs> so here's some of Joe's in his recent food. This must be the last time he's tried logging your food. Simply sausages. <laughs> Honey. Honey. What the fuck? Pork chops. Jelly. Fuck <laughs> 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 it. Jelly. <laughs> what are you fucking sure of them? Chorizo, fuck it up. Jesus Christ. Chorizo. Well, a lot of pork kicking about here. You love a bit of pork. Anyway, I had talk to the show. So what have you had to talk about? Do you know what I've had, right? <laughs> I had Jelly. a vegetarian breakfast. Oh, nice. Two, What's that? Two vegetarian sausages. <laughs> which are Linda McCartney. Do you think the word vegetarian Linda means calorie free? Fine. Mate, there's fucking 60 calories in a vegetarian sausage. Go on, you've had, you've had two sausages. Two vegetarian sausages, some scrambled eggs, and a little bit of beans. Mm. Toast? Then, no toast. I'm off bread. <laughs> <laughs> and then, no, and that's it. That's what you've eaten all day. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's yeah, not. Yeah, it is. Mm. What else have you had? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, be on. <laughs> so first things first. The no, diet, no, diet no. starts today. First things first. Fry up. What else have you had today? Be honest. Because Ashley's going to find out one way or another when the before picture looks like the after picture. <laughs> Good job, I think you've sent these the wrong way around. <coughs> what else have you had today? Do you know those, um, I was just, I was thinking, because oh, I was starving and I didn't have any breakfast. You but, did have breakfast, you had not, a fry up. It's not a fry up, Joe. It's not a fry up. It's not, that's I not was a starving because I didn't have that's any breakfast. Fry up. That's not a Joe, fry up. you just told us what you had for breakfast and it was a fry up. That's not a fry up. Beans, eggs, sausage, hash browns. <laughs> yeah, but... He was... Because he was starving. He's only had one breakfast. None of them were fried. That's what... <laughs> fried meat. eggs, presumably, were. No. Would you cook them in? The oven? No, you just microwave them. Right. Which I didn't do, I put them in the pan. Anyway, um, so because you were starving, because you'd only had one fry for breakfast. So I was like, right, I need to go into, I, I was doing some work today uh, on the way to Wigan. Pulled into a news agency, I was like, what can I have here? And there was a pepper army for a, a, a quid. So I was like, right, that, that's a bit of protein in it, I'm sure yeah. I should be proud. But then there was then, um, <laughs> do you know those? <laughs> I must be the only person who's ever bought them. Do you know those Swedish meatballs? <laughs> In the black packaging. <laughs> I thought they looked nice, I thought the chicky ones are them. I was, I was only supposed to have two. <laughs> Made <What>? them all. <laughs> oh no. So I had ten, yeah, it's because it, I didn't get my- So you um, had ten meatballs and a pepperami for, for lunch? No, no, I got rid of the pepperami, not a fucking madman. I had that for breakfast and then I had the vegetarian <laughs> breakfast for my lunch. Great. great. So start as you mean to go on. People notoriously have a lot of willpower at the start. I my tea tonight is not at 10 club. Is it? Well, should we get into it? We should get into it. Indeed. Oh, before that, can I just say one last thing? On Thursday, I didn't have a ticket for the game, the Barcelona game, second leg, Old Trafford. So I reached out on Twitter and on paddock videos like, if anyone's got a ticket, I'll pay for it. Obviously, I'm not fucking trying to get a free ticket for anyone. If you've got a spare ticket or you can't make it, I'll buy your ticket off you. No one, nothing. No one's yeah, going yeah, through yeah. it. It's a big game. Chance to beat Barcelona for only this second time ever, I think, um, over two legs. Um, and then someone messaged me on Twitter, and I was speaking to Jay because he's a bit more adept with these things. He goes to more games than me, kind of knows the, the lay of the land. And this guy had no followers on Twitter, like zero. Yeah, doesn't this tweet. Is mad. Doesn't tweet. And I was like, well, this is dodgy. He said, we've got two hospitality tickets. And I was like, okay, but that's going to be like, what, 150 quid, 200 quid each? I'm not paying that, but I'll see what you got, you know. <clears throat> so I said, how much? He said, for you, free of charge. That's, it's mad, isn't and it? And I was like, well, this is obviously not true. What then. would you have said if you went and just send me a picture of your feet? I'd have done it. 
I'd have just got Ethan to send me a picture of his yeah, feet. Yeah, easy. So it's a free of charge. So I went, okay, went, send me your email address. I was like, this is a scam. Someone's going to send me a picture of their cock here. I'm going to send him my email address and he's going to dick pick me. So I sent the email address thinking, okay, yeah, thank you. Like, no chance. Sends me these tickets through that look legit. Yeah. This, the, it's forwarded from Man United's email. Yeah, yeah. The tickets are on there. It's like, what is going on here? This can't be real. I sent it to Jay. He's like, they look real, but obviously this story is impossible. And they're 450 quid each, these That's tickets. That's incredible. They're not like 60 quid tickets. They're 450 quid. You get to go to Victoria Warehouse beforehand, or you can drink free beers, or you can eat food, hot food, burgers, and this little um, chicken, like... Did you log it? Skewer thing. I did, yeah. It was only a chicken hero or gear or whatever. Fucking little Jesus. weirdy boy. Went there and printed the tickets. I was like, we're going to get turned away here. Went in, they didn't even check the tickets. They just looked at them and went in. So me and my dad were like, this is incredible. We've got free beers, yeah, yeah, yeah. if nothing else. But they haven't actually scanned them, so we still don't have to work. Go to the front of the queue for the, for the game, scan those tickets, and they fucking worked. That's incredible. That Someone had just given us t 900 quids worth of tickets to this Barcelona game. Incredible seats on the halfway line, like next to the manager. It was the most unbelievable <laughs> g g act of kindness. Will I've you never invite us next time. What? I only had two. Or what? Just for the all you can eat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> now I know that. How amazing is that, though, Ethan? Uh, it's that, pretty amazing. That's amazing. I can't You're believe a very it. lucky boy. Yeah. You know what, Ethan, you should have put lucky. something like that on, on Sloppy Joe's Twitter or, or Instagram about you at Wembley. You never know. You were just dead silent. Uh, I put a little tweet on my own personal Twitter. Yeah, well, you stick it on Sloppy Joe's. I mean, to be fair, Stephen Housen, who's well in the football biz, only got a ticket at about eight minutes to kick off so you might have struggled let's go 9 out of 10 right now yeah, 10 club to, just um, wanted to say that because I've never had anything like that before. do you know who it was Joe was it anonymous someone on Twitter but I, their name on Twitter isn't the same as the email so I don't want to say names that I'm yeah. not sure of but someone watching thank you very much uh, right so 9 out of 10 club is yes, a right. club where we bring in different food items snacks galore uh, to um, to see if you uh, think they are 9 out of 10 the best of the best now what we want to do is get more of your suggestions in and we've got two kicking off today yeah. uh, one of them is in fact what I think we should do a video I'd love to do it before we do that I'd like to enter something to 9 out of 10 club and after the, the league cup win yesterday could we add the sweet taste of success oh. into that? Do you, want to, do you want to taste it, Ethan? The sweet taste of success. Oh wait, you're not allowed to. Okay, so you can taste the bitter finger of negativity instead. See you later. How does that finger taste? Suck it. Get your teeth under the nail, as I'll get that dirt out from Ooh, under the nail. Dirt. T. I'm not I'm not sucking the finger. You don't have to. Yeah, so we've got Jack who's got involved today. Set a video in. Jack sent a video in. Uh, right, let's have a little listen to it. I'll put it in. Also, can I just say he 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 just is a bit of you. He like as in like he he must watch you a lot and he he loves to do. Ooh, like some of his mannerisms are just Joe Smith. Okay, you ready? This is what we need more people like what, me. No, 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 less. no, 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 no. What's going on, sloppers? Hope you're doing well. Love the podcast. Keep it up. Now, I thought I'd throw my hat into the proverbial ring with a 9 out of 10 club entry today. And it borders on conceptual, this entry. Um, the concept being that the best snacks and foods in general is when you combine an element of heat with an element of cool creaminess. Yeah? Now, bear with me. The first part is a classic. Uh, you, 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 it evokes feelings of being on a balcony on holiday, sipping a beer. What better is there to be munching on than sour cream and onion Pringles? The best in the beers, one of the best crisps out there. Wow. You introduce Doritos hot salsa. Oh, baby mama. This is... Absolutely elite. I suggest that, sorry, I suggest that you get a few of these on there so you can really uh, ham up the uh, the amount of salsa. And then you just dig in. Mm -mm. Hope you're doing well. Love the podcast. Keep it up. Now, I thought I'd throw my hat into the proverbial ring. Proverbial. You use proverbial. Everyone says proverbial. Never heard of it. And <laughs> it borders on conceptual, this entry. You would have said that. Um, Concept being that the best snacks and foods in general is when you combine an element 
when you combine this is you this when is you, you. So, this so is far, you Jack it loves you so much so far the when things, you combine like well, the things well, that you think I would say are proverbial yeah. conceptual and when you combine I've, I've never said them three It is even. I know what you say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's playing he's it. Said, he's got, he says it with such yeah, confidence. Yeah, you're just you jealous him. that you haven't got people like you in the world. Thank you so much, Jack. Right, right. So, where's the Pringles? The Pringles. Sorry, I'm fucking on octopus. That was great. And so I tell you what, gentlemen. I was speaking to Lizzie the other day, and she was saying, "How have you not done Pringles yet?" Listen, ladies and gentlemen, for the nine out of ten club, we're going for what? That was the least elegant way I've ever seen anyone open Pringles. But what go on. Do you want to start a dance, is it? Pringles, sour cream and onion. Yeah. But Jack's element is adding a bit of salsa into the mix. Yeah. Ethan, do you want to come round this way? I'd be delighted to. Wow. Wow, actually need a little bit of that. What maybe. a rush. Now, first of all, the Pringles... Wow. Oh, that's noisy. The Pringles are an elite level crisp. And I'll tell you what... Uh, name me a food that, in terms of the percentage of its overall cost, varies in price so much. Some places it's one pound fifty. Other places they're three forty. Who wants to play a game? How much did they cost? That's the thing. Pr with Pringles, genuinely, it could be anywhere between a quid and four quid. How Nothing much, varies that much. How much did they cost, Ethan? I'm gonna say one pound seventy-nine. What do you think, Joe? Two forty-nine. Two seventy-five. Expensive rack, dig it. I'll tell you what, mm. that combination's fucking good. I mean, no. Get it right in there. He said get a good bit in there as yeah. well. Get a few. There you go. Oh, not that. Not, you're not trying to hurt yourself. No, no, no. Do, do it, Ethan. Just lob it in, yeah? Ethan's going for it. Talk to me, Joe. Good lad. Mm. Pringles are incredible. Pringles are good. I can't believe we've never brought them to the Bring table. Pass them over here. We've got a few real blinds. Nice, that, isn't it? That club. It's good, that. It's so that. Nice what are you saying, that. Ethan? What is it? What's your face for? More. Yeah, Ethan wants more. Let's not slide that back because it's so noisy. Um, I think that the uh, that Pringles are amazing. I can't believe we've never brought them to the table before. Have you? What about this combination? Because I'm sorry, it's it's working for me. I grew up on salsa. I was a bit of a what salsa you, you a dancer. No, <laughs> all of the Latin dancers: mumba, samba, cha cha, tango. Fucking hell. Merengue. There's a lot, isn't there? Salsa. You've said it. No, well, I'm just you can't go coming again. back. Um, I'm a big salsa boy. I love it. I have it on so many things. And I can't believe we've never done this before for me. What, hold on. Oh. What do you mean you have it on so many things? Salsa. Yeah, stop saying it. Like what? Crisps, etc. you know. <laughs> fajitas. We used to have it all the time. Yeah, fajita fajita night. Fajitas. I have it on, um, I make a dish mm, that's just rice beef mints and then the salsa and cheese on it and I'll eat like ki nice. kilos of that kilos of it you told Ash uh, 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 that's the old me to me this is definitely going in I'm g so that's two out of four also can I say the combination really works doesn't it Pringles by themselves is nine out of ten so Jack for me introducing that flavour combination what a legend definitely going in for me hey Ethan James it's in Oh, true, but I want to know what Ethan's saying. Go on into it. Over one more. I, I think um, that was absolutely delightful. And my mouth is watering <laughs> now. That may be one of the most delicious snacks I've ever had on this earth. Mm. I, um, therefore, I guess it's obvious it's, it's in. Amazing, wow. Jack. Amazing. Yeah. Well done, Jack. One of the best viewer entries we've had yet. Unanimous and not even close. That was incredible. And, what have we got? One more. Whoa. This is from Michelle. Michelle Rue. Oh, great name. By the way, if you want to send in videos, do sloppy joe's podcast at gmail.com. I'm going to play them out. These have been brought up in the pod today. Do you want to guess? It's not jelly. Meatballs, is it? It's not jelly. I mean, like, it? Chicken meatballs. The Jaffa cakes. Oh. <laughs> oh. Ash is going to be pissing his pants when he hears this. Mm. Ladies, this is my tea. Ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, right. It is. Fucking tea, right? It is. I present the Jaffa Cakes. It's quiet, isn't it? What's going on? Get them open. I'm going to freeze the one to eat them. No, no, I'll throw one. Okay. They've gone down in size, haven't they? I've just got bigger. 
I think you've got bigger. <laughs> That's where Ash comes in. Ethan, stand up. <laughs> Fucking Ellie plays in goal. Look at that. That was an incredible catch. Oh, brilliant. I've smashed it up though, catching it, but I still caught it. Yeah. yeah. Talk to me. You've got Jaffa cakes got take me back these. to the childhood. What do you mean I've got to love him? Whose childhood? Mine. Oh, good. No one else's. Oh, that. 16 year old boy on Ethan's. Wow. Boat. I wonder if you get a boat from uh, like the Mersey to London. Go on! Get now. Um, for me, Jaffa cakes are beautiful. Mm -hmm. Again, orange comes into play. It's a delight. Do you remember the advert? Full moon, half moon, total. I don't know, Joe. I don't know. Guess the last word. Full moon, half moon, total. total. A buffoon. <laughs> I couldn't Ethan. agree more. Ethan, let's go. What is it again? Full moon. Full moon, half moon, total. She's eating a Jaffa cake when she's doing it. Mm. What's the last thing she says? Full moon, half moon, total. Monsoon. <laughs> yeah, Eclipse. Me. Eclipse. Oh. oh. <laughs> total buffoon. Total buffoon, yeah, you fucking are one. What are you thinking? I love Jaffa cakes. They're one of the few sort of sweet things that I like. But I think they're an eight out of 10. I think they're great. I think they're really good, but they don't have that <coughs> pop, pop, pop. Yeah. No one's buying Jaffa cakes two or three times a week. No. I, I, they're I, great, but they're not the, of the requisite quality to get in the nine out of 10 club for me. Ethan? My friend Wob thinks Jaffa cakes might be the greatest things in the world. I remember at uni, we used to take them out to get them Jaffa cake ice cream from the ice cream shop in Arndale Court we had an Italian name but I think it's closed now but Wob used to love the Italian uh, the Jaffa cake ice cream from there and the Jaffa is cake Is Rob dead? Is Rob dead? Oh no sorry Wob's still good he also loves the Jaffa cake uh, donuts he loved them he loves them I think there might be Jaffa cake biscuits around as well wouldn't yeah, they be great to have biscuit. you've just had one no well well I, I mean <clears throat> no what are you saying they're not you don't think that's a biscuit don't do this. I'm Don't. Not asked. It's not. But they're in the biscuit aisle, aren't they? Yeah, but so is like capers. If you go into a Tesco Express, so is cereal and chocolate what are you and Sprite. About? What are you saying? It's not a full aisle. Where did you go for capers? There's yeah, not there a full aisle. Full aisle. Yes, there is a full aisle. The really? biscuit aisle. Yeah, but there's other stuff at the other end of it. Aribos and that. Put in the biscuit a aisle. You're a fucking fudge. <laughs> All right. So is it no for you? Oh, I was just saying it's really nice. Um, oh, it's a tough one. Because I think it is a brilliant snack, but is it like what Drew's saying? Is it, is it an eight? Is it not Is it not wowing you? I, I, I'm really stuck here. Um, I, I was all ready for it going, and then Drew said that. Uh, Open your eyes. I might have to... It might be an 8 out of 10. Yeah. Yeah, it is. It's an 8 out of 10, it's but Jabba in. Cakes have done really, really well. Amazing. And listen, finally, I want to give a big shout out to sons.co.uk. I'm in the process, <clears throat> a couple of weeks in, of taking their full experience, I don't know why I'm stroking my beard, head tablets, shampoo, spray, mm. vitamins, and Joe, I'm looking a million dollars. You're certainly looking something, Joe, and I just want to thank Sons. <laughs> So much for sponsoring. What about my hair? No, your hair looks incredible. Your hair looks the longest it's ever been. If you fancy getting your hair like mine, use code <laughs> JOE40 to get 40% 40 off your first order at sons.co.uk. Not like mine, but like, say you got hair problems, like, like make it grow, it grows back. And I, I'm actually seeing the difference. Hey, I've also got a couple of broke hair. Just if you want your hair to look like mine, go to sons.co.uk for 40% yes. off. What do you have to do? You go to sons.co.uk, use the code JOE40 at the checkout and get 40% off your first order. That's a lot of money when the, yeah, you, you can absolutely smash it. It's pretty easy to do as well. Wake up in the morning, tablet. Vitamin, Shh. spray your hair with this stuff. Then, no, you should shampoo first. Shampoo, wipe your ass. That's key. Tablets, 
<laughs> 10 sprays, you're away. Every day, easy. Amazing. Use Simple code Joe40. <laughs> we can't leave that in. What do you mean? I thought I was good. Good stuff. Did you like, did you you, like that? Thank you, Tim, for joining us. Send your agony bants and nine out of ten clubs to sloppy jokes podcast at gmail.com. Film it, send the video, and we'll play it on the Wear podcast. clothes. Wear clothes, sloppy jokes podcast at gmail.com. Thank you again to Sons for sponsoring the show. Yes. And honestly, when you've lost some weight, when I've lost some weight, when you've got the hairline of an absolute god, this podcast is going to be unstoppable, Joe. You know that, don't you? It's already. We have to get a new logo, though, because look at that. Yours has got all the receivers on that. <laughs> Right, right anyway, yeah. see you later guys. Bye bye. bye. Wait, Ethan. Ah, yeah. Uh, see you later everyone. Tra tra. <laughs>